Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at another TikTok viral makeup hack, okay? So my previous video was actually, I actually filmed the video using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer because of a video that I saw on TikTok. I initially was not gonna try it, but you no, know, once again, TikTok for the win. So this video is actually also another TikTok viral hack. I feel like this hack has been around for a while. I don't know the originator for it. I am definitely not the originator of said hack. You may have seen it on my channel first, but I wasn't the person who created it, okay? Let me just put that out there. I don't want any problems, okay? I do not want any problems, okay? Now, before we jump into this hack, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe down below and click that notification bell and also turn on your YouTube app notification so you get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Also, go ahead and share this video with your friends and thumbs up the video because because I know it's gonna be amazing content, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this TikTok hack. That is also going to be another slay given Thanksgiving makeup look. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We all know that cut creases are one of those things that look good. It helps you like add so many different varieties of colors to your eye look and it looks really really good okay so there's a hack on tiktok that has made it easy for you to cut your crease there has been the spoon hack there has been an actual um cut crease stamp that people have sold this latest hack is from people using an eyelash curler this thing right here now if you're somebody who doesn't use an eyelash curler i don't blame you because these things look scary af like who wants to be put doing this to their eye like it looks scary okay i have it I rarely, ouch, I just pinched myself. I don't use it because, once again, ouch, I just pinched myself. And that's why I don't use it because I'm always afraid I'm gonna pinch my skin on my eyelids, which is gonna be very painful for a very long time and then I can't film, yada, 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 so I don't use this. But I am definitely ready to see this hack. Now the hack is that you put some, uh, concealer or whatever product on here and you stamp it to your eye and it supposedly gives you the perfect cut crease every time okay so let's go ahead and get this look started okay so my eyelids are prepped okay i will put the link to my eyelid my eyeshadow prep routine down below so you could check that out i will also put the link to an eyeshadow prep routine that doesn't require all of this that even the most basic beginner can do or let's say you're in a hurry you can do it okay so i'm gonna put that link down below as well so you can check it out i am gonna be using two palettes today we're gonna be using the vanessa by julius place palette it's back in stock so definitely check that out and we're also going to be using the pinks well sweet pinks by julius place as well I am going to start out in the Sweet Pink palette and I am, yeah, I think I'll start in the Sweet Pink palette. I'm taking this shade right here and I'm going to place that in my crease. Okay, so it didn't record apparently. I don't know what, what I'm doing. <laughs> when it comes to filming anymore. But what I did was take the shade in the Vanessa palette and I used it to deepen my crease. I just kept applying it until it's, it looks deeper. And as you can see, it looks a lot deeper than this side. I want it to look more like this. Okay, so I went ahead and just blended it into the crease so that it's a little bit more intense compared to if I had only used the first shade that we put down. I don't want to use anything deeper than this because you know, when it comes to pink looks, you can do several different types of uh, crease deepness. You can even do a purple pink transition uh, cut crease, you know? And now for the moment of truth. I hope I have the right kind of um, eyelash curler here. I think I end up throwing away most of my eyelash curlers because I don't use them but hopefully this one will work. I found three more demon spawned eyelash curlers. 
<laughs> I found three more eyelash curlers. Um, they all pretty much are designed the same, but the, I'm worried about the little knots on the side or dots on the side. I feel like it's going to ruin my eye look, but I'm definitely going to like give it a try. I'm going to use the original one that we had because they all are pretty much the same. I am nervous about this. I mean, I don't even have to try. You can already see my hooded eye is like cutting this crease for me. So if I cut anything above that, that would be perfect. Usually I would mark my eye so I can see where the cut crease is supposed to go. I feel like I can still do that now. I can still do it. Let me see. I can still mark where I'm gonna cut the crease. That way I can stamp above that, okay? Okay, so that's where the, the mark is, which means I have to cut my crease above that. Right? Okay. I'm taking the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime in the shade number three. I think I'm gonna put it somewhere because the way this is going. I'm only using a little bit because I don't wanna put too much and then it just makes a mess. And then I am going to apply it directly to the top of this baby. You have to coat it like you're trying to apply lash glue, gentle. And then also I'm making sure not to get any on the knots over here because I feel like th that could also ruin the shape of the look. So I'm ever gently just painting it on with a cut crease brush. I think this is definitely like a hacked episode because I have to cut above this crease. I can't see precisely where this is going. <laughs> Okay, I can see better now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm scared. Hmm. Okay. So now if I want to do like a whole like the the cut crease that goes all the way down that I'm never able to do. I just have to stamp it again. I ruined it. I ruined it. I, I ruined it. Oh Jesus. I mean, it's not bad. I could definitely fix this. Now what I've seen people do is that after they use this to cut the crease, they go in with their concealer brush and they fix the cut crease. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and follow the same line that was created and I'm gonna um, cut it all the way down. I, I definitely feel like this is the easiest cut crease I have done. This is the easiest cut crease I have done, period, okay? This is definitely the easiest cut crease I have done hands down like my hope is that using a tool like this especially something that you have laying around that you don't necessarily have to go and buy would make it to where you know both eyes would have the same heights the same cut and everything because it takes a while especially for me to make sure that both of my cut creases are on the same plane because nobody's eyes are exactly as symmetrical as we would think they are. So sometimes when you do cut creases, one of them will come out just a little bit higher than the other, or you know, a little bit more arch than the other, and then you spend time trying to fix it. It's exactly like um, like eyeliners, okay? But I'm hoping this would make it easy. So if this is where my normal crease stops, I have to cut above that. I am gonna use my right hand still because I feel like if I use my left hand, I would mess it up. I'm gonna angle it towards the inside and stamp. <laughs> Listen, I love the cleanup job. The cleanup job for me is the easiest. And I'm doing it like this to follow through all the way to the end because the girls be cutting their crease in a circular motion and I really love how it comes out when they add the shimmer shades and stuff. I can never cut my crease like that. So I never wanted to try that, but this is making it easy. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up. I mean, you can see the dotted line. It looks like it's rough, 
but it's so much better than you trying to figure out where your cut your cut goes and the, it makes the cleanup so easy you just follow the line and of course i extended it more into my inner corner tell me this is gonna look easy of course this is probably this this is always 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 gonna be like tiny little things that needs to be fixed even when I do the cut crease with a regular brush, I still get these tiny little things that need to be fixed. I just apply some of the eyeshadow over it and it's fixed. I'm taking that shade from the Vanessa palette that we used to deepen the crease. And I'm gonna use that to deepen the outer corner of this cut crease. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into our original shade from the Pinks palette, and I'm gonna fill this in. I'm really tempted to do an all matte look again. I'm taking this shimmer shade from the Pink palette. I'm gonna put that over here. And then I'm gonna find a whitish sort of shimmer shade to put in the inner corner. Okay, I'm taking this shade from the Vanessa palette, and I'm going to apply that Okay, so in this look, I'm using the Bonsi Beauty colored lashes. This is the Lash Style Quinn. I'm gonna go in with LA Girl Pastel Dream Auto Liner. This is the shade Lilac. And then I'm gonna go into our first transition shade and use that on my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use some of this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer because we all know that it holds on to color very well. I'm going to apply some of it on my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with a dose of colors, a stay glossy shade. This is called made you blush. Also, if you didn't know, we have a discount code with dose of colors. Definitely use code Ohema at checkout for 20% off your order. Okay. We're going back into our LYS highlighter in the shade genuine. Okay guys, so this is my finished look trying this new TikTok makeup hack. I feel like this is a series of hacked. I'm gonna start adding these back to my hacked series because I started a series a while ago called Hacked where I try makeup hacks to see how they work. And if they worked, I let you know. If they didn't work, I let you know. This is definitely a hacked video. So trying out this um, eyelash curler, demonic eyelash curlers as, um, cut crease tools actually works okay here's why no matter how like if you angle it this the same way you get the same exact shape on both sides like my cut creases are on the same plane i didn't have to think too hard about it i didn't have to work too hard for it they all just stayed on the same plane okay and it makes it easier for you to get a very clean line especially if you're a beginner at makeup and you don't really know how to get that very clean line when it comes to your your cut creases this helps because no matter how jagged it is it's so easy for you to just use your brush to just follow the line along and you can do a full cut crease you can do a half cut crease you can do whatever cut creases you want if you see any hacks on tiktok or instagram or pinterest or wherever that you want me to try definitely remember to tag me i am underscore ohima bonsu on instagram and i am ohima bonsu on tiktok if you see a hack you want me to try to see what to see if or whether or not it's gonna work 
on us definitely go ahead and tag me in it and i will definitely try it out so we can see how it works okay that is it for me for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you're not yet subscribed to my channel definitely go ahead and subscribe down below and also click the notification bell and turn on your notification for youtube so you don't miss any future uploads from me share this video with your friends who don't know how to cut crease share this video with your friends who spend hours trying to cut crease and share this video with anybody and everybody who wants to get better at their cut creases so that they can come watch this video subscribe comment thumbs up and we can grow okay thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye